God bless you all. Great to see you here. I want to share some scripture with you. It's Luke 7, 19 to 23. And this scripture is, a, scripture is about John the Baptist. He's in jail and he hears all of the good works and the miracles. He hears about Jesus and he sends two of his disciples with a question and he wants to know if Jesus is the one. So the reason I'm sharing this with you, John the Baptist no different to you or to me. He wanted to know the real Jesus and if he was the son of God and if he was God. You need to do exactly the same thing. If you want the truth, it's not about me because I'm telling you, I can testify because of my experience with God, you need your own personal experience. So to believe in God and Jesus, you need God to touch you in a supernatural way. God is the only one that's going to show you the real Jesus. And Jesus is the only one that's going to show you the real God. So regardless what religion you're in, what teaching you're under, you need to to come to God personally and find out from God himself, okay? And this is to encourage you. So Luke 7, 19 to 23. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus saying, Are you the coming one? Or do we look for another? So here's John the Baptist, a mighty man of God, and he's seeking the truth. And, then, and it goes on to say that and at that very hour, he, that's Jesus, cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard. The blind see, the lame walk, Lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, and the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them. So here they are, they're witnessing all these things, and Jesus sends them back to back to tell John the Baptist. Now Jesus is still alive today and he's still working the same miracles. He's he's still raising people from the dead, healing people from the illnesses and sicknesses, opening the blind eyes and opening their ears. But do you know, that didn't die 2,000 years ago. That can happen to you right now. If you come to Jesus sincerely, seeking him. It's not my Jesus. My Jesus is the best you can come to. And... Um, and he also said that uh, the poor had the gospel preached to them. And blessed is he. Blessed is he who, who is not offended because of me. Now in John 3.13 3, 3, 3, it says, and this is Jesus. Um, Jesus came from Galilee, Galilee and he actually went to meet John the Baptist at, uh, at the Jordan and it says then Jesus came from Galilee to John to be baptized by him and John tried to prevent him saying I need I need to be baptized by you are you coming to me very interesting now he's John the Baptist in the wilderness baptizing uh, thousands of people and it's a baptism of repentance, the water baptism and he's coming up to Jesus and saying are you coming to me? He thought it, he was saying it should be the other way around. God and Jesus will come to you if you seek him. This happened 2,000 years ago but it's for you today. John the Baptist said, I need to be baptised by you. And are you coming to me? 
But Jesus said to him, Permit it to be so now. For, for thus it is fulfilled. For us to fulfill all righteousness, then he allowed him. Now, it goes on to the next stage. So here's John, here's uh, Jesus approaching John the Baptist. He'll do the same for you. And it says, when, when, he was, when he baptized him, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and enlightening upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. So, not only did John the Baptist understand that he needed to be baptized by, by Jesus himself, but he's Jesus and God giving him a sign who he really was. Now that's saying, if you want the truth, you need to come to God and allow him to show you who Jesus, who the real Jesus is. And then when that happens, Jesus will show you the real God. So I'm here for, because of my experience and I can tell you Jesus is real, God is real. And prove me wrong. Come to God. And what you need to do is to ask and to seek and to knock. So it won't happen without you taking a step. And it won't happen if you don't give God permission to enter your heart. And it's just waiting to, to forgive your sins. Um, and further down in the scripture it says that that Jesus will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. Now salvation, there aren't many roads to God if you want to spend eternity in heaven. There's only one way to get there and it's only through Jesus Christ. Now if you don't accept Jesus, you're not accepting the will of God because this is the way God planned it and it says in the Bible, and it's the only true, true word of God, the Bible has the information that you need, and it says that Jesus is the only way to the Father. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And he says, no one comes to the Father except through me. You can't come through, any, through a religious um, community. Um, I've grown up in a, in a Christian community, so I've, I've grown up in the, the word of God in the foundation, but to know God personally, you've got to, well, you really have to step out of your, your uh, religious state and come one to one to God and seek a personal relationship and allow God to touch you supernaturally. But the only way you're going to get salvation, it's through Jesus. And the true teaching is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. If you're a, a confessing Christian and you don't accept Jesus, or you only accept Jesus as Son, but you don't accept God as Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that's the wrong teaching. And that's enough to send you to hell. Because without believing in the true Jesus, and it's, and it's impossible for you to be born again unless you allow God to show you the truth. That's why you need to come to God to, to show you. Now I'm going to invite you to open your hearts and Make Jesus your Lord and your Saviour. Ask for the power and the anointing of the Holy Spirit, the presence of God to fill your heart and become, be adopted in the family and receive your salvation. So, and you'll be set free from your sins, your health, uh, your torments, and your chains will be broken, all because of the blood of Jesus. So share this prayer with me. I repent of my sin, Jesus died for me, I and that he was crucified. Sin. Jesus died he for rose me. from the dead. He was crucified. He arose from the dead. Jesus come into my heart. Jesus come into my heart. Now you've asked 
Now receive it. So speak to God and say, receive the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Amen.